Hi everyone, so today I'm sitting on this sofa, haven't tried this location before but hopefully it's not too bad with the lighting and everything but I wanted to give you an update because I'm done, hopefully, with my Open University degree, with all my exams, with everything. So I had my last two exams, today is the, today's the 12th of June, so I had my exams on the 8th and 10th and that was my last two exams provided I've passed them, which is another thing, but I wanted to give you a bit of an overview of my thoughts on the degree, my thoughts on the experience, how everything's worked and everything like that, because I know, at least for me when I was starting five years ago, it's, this has been a five year journey, before I started doing it, I really wanted to look up people's thoughts, people's uh, comments, their experiences and everything and it was quite difficult actually to see anyone um, and especially for the degree that I'm doing or that I've done which is the mathematics and physics Q77 if you're looking it up with their codes especially for that one but just generally I couldn't really find good like experience posts or YouTube videos, wherever it was, it was more like random comments maybe on some places but it wasn't really, I can really trust them properly so I do want to do this in case you're in the middle of it or you're thinking about doing it, whatever it is just to give you a bit my opinion and of course other people can have different experiences but I hope that at least some of my uh, thoughts and experiences can be helpful if you're trying to decide or you know you're trying to make up your mind, whatever it is or even just if you're curious about how it's worked and yeah, how I've found it. So I decided that I've done Q77, I've got multiple videos about it, I'll link them below hopefully somewhere around here. Finishing it has been crazier than any other year, so like I said I've done it in 5 years instead of 6, my first 2 years. I did a bit more credits than I was supposed to for a part-time degree, so technically it's supposed to be 6 years part-time, but I do want to do another video um, after this, once I get my marks, once I get my degree, everything done, finalized, I do want to do a separate video telling you everything about each of the modules that I took, what I found uh, was good about them, what I didn't like, and especially some of them, uh, the level 3 modules are optional, not optional, but like you can pick between different ones. So I do want to give you my thoughts on the ones that I did, because again, when I tried to gather information about that stuff, I just couldn't, it wasn't anywhere to be seen. So this last year has been the most difficult one for me and I think it was just mentally knowing that I was about to be done. Five years is a long time and I've talked about this before so I'm not going to go into too much detail but I'm not really going to do anything directly with the degree. I'm just not going to. It was more, yeah, it's more for wanting to study it, wanting to have it, whatever it is. This final year, knowing that I was about to be done, that I just didn't have too much left to do, it was quite mentally draining and I just felt like I was a lot lazier with everything, I didn't want to do much of it, so it was a lot more difficult to actually get interested in the stuff that I was learning. My quantum mechanics module, I did like the units and everything that I studied. The fluid mechanics, I just found like it was a bunch of stuff all put together in this one module and I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't do it, it was ugh, so frustrating. I did really well on the assignments, so that was good, but... It's all gonna get lowered with the exams, which I do want to talk about because usually with the Open University you do your exams uh, physically, you do go to a center and have an exam in a physical room with a bunch of people doing an exam. Last year with the pandemic, so 2020 exams were a bit different, we all did it from home, you had all your books, the internet, whatever you wanted, and we actually had the full day to get the exam done, so you downloaded it whenever you wanted and by the end of the day you had to submit it. So that was quite good. Doing an exam in an exam center with other people doing an exam versus doing it yourself at home is very different mentally in terms of preparing yourself for what you're about to be doing. But because I had the full day, I found it great. You know, I took my breaks to go to the bathroom, to have some water, to have some snacks, to have my lunch, whatever it was. And I don't do amazing with exams, so I'm a lot better on assignments than exams just because I do like to get my thoughts together and then, you know, I do understand the concept, so with time I do get it into the paper. But this year, so for 2021, they decided that they did not want to do that again. So it was, you did your exam from home, but it was timed. So you had three hours to do the exam plus an hour and a half to like scan or whatever, like an extra hour and a half really. So you had four and a half hours to submit it. If you didn't submit it by then, then you had a penalty. Another like hour and a half that you could, but you would have a penalty on your marks. Let me tell you something, doing a timed exam at home 
it's a lot more stressful than doing it in an exam room where you know that that's what you're going to do everyone's doing the same thing you can see other people do the same thing doing it at home is so much more stressful and yes i had the internet yes i had my books but that was even more stressful because preparing for it is so much more difficult uh mentally you think i don't have to prepare as much because i'm gonna have books i'm gonna have this i'm gonna have that so i do hope that moving forward they do go back to physical exams uh, my second one i just couldn't also uh, they did take into account the fact that people have the books so they I think they've made them more difficult than previous years, so that wasn't too fair. My quantum mechanics exam, and I'll talk about this in the other video, but that exam, it's the most difficult exam I've seen in my life, and I know it has to be difficult, I know it's a level 3 physics module, but I do think they tried to go like the niche route with the questions, and that's just not what you're supposed to do. You have to ask me questions based on what I've been learning, what I've been assessing, throughout the module and that just wasn't the case so I think yeah this year they tried to do something and it didn't really work uh, it's a shame that that was my last year because level 3 modules count double when it comes to like averaging your degree so that was a bit frustrating uh, again I am hoping that I have passed both of them and I don't really care about what, what marks I have on them anymore I just want to get it done like whatever it is I just want it to be done I don't want to have to look at those books again I don't want to have to do anything with it again and again I'm quite happy that I've done it but my overall thoughts this last year is that I just wanted it done I just didn't want to do it anymore and it's now done hopefully I am really 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 hoping and praying that it is done so overall thoughts I'm really happy with the whole structure aside from this year um, I know physical exams are not for everyone and exams are not for everyone I've said it I'm not great at exams I wish you didn't have to go to a place for an exam and you just had more assignments or whatever it is because um, I do enjoy having that time to think about whatever the question is the pandemic just threw everything off for a lot of people and for the Open University you would have thought that for a university that prides themselves in doing things online for people and flexibility and things like that it was quite frustrating actually my second exam uh, we got a delivery we got a delivery in the middle of me doing my exam, so I had to like get up to open the door and it just threw me off. Four hours, it took me four hours to do each of the exams this year. Four hours sitting down at your desk doing an exam and not having, and it sounds silly, but seeing other people in an exam room all doing an exam, you know, when you look around and you see people writing, you see people thinking, and you're like, okay, other people are doing the same thing I do, I'm doing. So it feels, I don't know, you feel you're doing something right or like I don't know just mentally being in your own house doing this exam for four hours and I did it on my iPad so I didn't really need the hour and a half to scan and do things like that I just had to export the file of my iPad and just send it to my email and then upload it to the site so it was quite easy for me so I had a bit more time to do the exam but still having a three hour exam is long enough when you make that four and it was literally four hours of me trying to work out the questions for each of them. That last week has been so mentally draining. I just, I was so stressed. I couldn't sleep properly. It was all a bit too much. But, and then you guys know if you've seen some of my other videos, they're doing construction next to us. So I had construction workers like drilling while I'm trying to concentrate and figure out what these math and physics things are so it wasn't the best situation but in terms of the overall degree the open university i am very happy with uh how it works generally in terms of you doing your things in your own time you have your books you have the pdfs if you want to do it digitally which i do recommend 100 percent if you're able to have uh, a tablet like an ipad whatever it is and with the iPad pencil that I've had, it's just so much easier to like underline things, make notes. I've been able to use that for the exam as well, which was super helpful. And just having, doing things in your own time whenever you want, uh, it's really, really good. They do have flexibility in terms of how many modules you have to take per year. Again, part-time is six years, but I know there are loads of people who do it in longer because they, they're doing it because they want to, they don't have to get it done as soon as possible. So I know people do them in like 10 years, whatever it is, uh, which I totally understand because otherwise doing it at the same time as having a full-time job, which is what I've, what I've done, 
and having, you know, trying to do so many things at the same time. I've done it while moving houses, buying this flat, um, you know, getting engaged, having a relationship, moving jobs, all of that's quite stressful generally. So putting all that stress on top of it from an online degree is quite a lot and it's quite time consuming, but it does allow you to do it whenever you want really. So that's really good. And at the same time, they do guide you in terms of what you should be doing uh, every single step of the way. And it's quite good in that way. Uh, there's only a few things that I found, just like the exams this year, a few things that I found that I just didn't really like about it. So yeah, the exams this year. And then I know a few modules have group projects, which I had one last year for my astrophysics module. That was, I don't know if it was a worse experience than... Um, the exams this year, but that was literally what I do not like about traditional education, if that makes sense. Group projects, I mean, I don't think anyone's a fan of group projects. If you are a fan of a group project, you're probably the person not doing the work and getting a higher mark because someone else did the work. So other than that, I don't think anyone else likes them. And it was the same. Imagine people do an online degree because you have other commitments. You might have a family, you might have, you might be retired and doing other stuff. You might be having a full-time job. You could be doing so many other things and having to force those people to get together online from their own houses to do a project where we're all at different points. Like you're supposed to be doing it whenever you can and however you want to and forcing people to do that together and it just doesn't work. It did not work for me, I don't think. I That year, that mark for that module got lowered massively from that group project and I'm not really happy about that. I didn't get a bad mark in the end, but it did get lowered because of it and I knew it would because it's just so difficult. So many people didn't even show up. You couldn't really get people together at the same time for a call because People had work, you know, people work in the evenings, people work in the morning, people have families, people have other stuff they have to be doing and it's just, yeah, having a group project for an online um, degree is just not something they should be doing. But other than that, and that's why I want to do that video with all the modules because I do want to, if I had known that was part of it, I probably would have picked a different um, module to be completely honest. I loved the units and I did really like what I studied but I would have picked another one probably because knowing what I know now I would have picked a different one 100% I yeah that experience was not enjoyable wasn't great and yeah all in all really happy it's done really happy uh, that I've done it as well I do not regret that I've done a video on that as well I do not regret it I think it was great it is very expensive so that's something that you do need to take into account uh, it's cheaper than a brick university in the UK but for example if you're Spanish it's a lot more expensive than a normally degree a normal degree in Spain it's quite expensive just to be doing it for the sake of it but if you can and you know that's something that you can do it's definitely worth it I think you know it's taught me a lot I I've loved what I've learned in most of the modules so it is something that I you know and it's just the challenge of doing it and the pride of having completed it and having done something that you really wanted to and having the knowledge that, you know, it's taught you the knowledge that I have now, being able to have a degree in maths and physics, it's something that I really wanted to have, something that I really wanted to do and that's what I've done and that's what I take away from it, you know, the challenge and it is an experience, it's something to talk about, you know, in work interviews, things like that, when they're like, what is a challenge that you've had in your life, maybe not work-related, and this is something that you can talk about, it's, you know, it really tells others how much you care and how much you want to do things and you're able to time manage your own, you know, free time, whatever it is, it does teach, aside from everything you learn in the unit, it does teach a lot in terms of life and your own personality and what you, what you're able to achieve, so I think not only is it great for learning whatever you're learning, maths, physics, whatever degree you're doing, but just, yeah, in terms of organization, project management, things like that, it's also really helpful and it's something that you can definitely bring up in any job interview, yeah, where you're being judged or your character's judged or whatever it is. So I do not regret it whatsoever. I am very happy that it's done though. So yeah, five years again, it's a long time. And when I started it, 
I didn't even know my partner and I'm engaged now. It's crazy how much my life has changed in the five years that I've been doing this degree. But again, really happy that I've done it. And I do want to share with you guys everything about the modules in case you guys are thinking about doing it the same or you just want to get some idea of what the, univer the open university is like. I know a lot of you who watch me have done the same uh, degree. I know a lot of you who comment uh, and tell me what you think about the modules and usually we do have the same opinion So that's good. Yeah, I want to tell you more about it and hopefully I will do that video soon ish I think I get the they post the results 22nd of July, I believe so it's still a bit over a month But hopefully once that's done I'll try to make uh, film the video quite quickly after and let you guys know all my thoughts I'll gather all my thoughts and notes and then once I do have the final results, then I'll share that video with you guys. But hopefully hopefully this video was helpful and you guys liked it, liked the update. I do want to do more videos in terms of maths, physics. Not sure yet if I want to do it more in terms of sharing knowledge or in terms of helping others who are learning. If that makes any difference, if that makes any sense to any of you. But I do want to do a bit more on that. So hopefully uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Hopefully a bit more coming soon. If you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!